<clears throat> all right, first and foremost, I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praise unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakakwadash. I want to give double honors to Apostle Tahar and other elders and apostles that are fervently in the spirit, whose labors we have entered into. Right. So I'm gonna figure out a uh, I'm gonna figure out a name for today's lesson later on. But essentially, I want to get into the fact that the Heavenly Father, He's building up our most holy faith right now in these particular times because Jacob's trouble is literally right around the corner. All hell is about to break loose. You know. Uh, there are so many different things going on, you know, right now at this very point in time, the Heavenly Father that, you know, you, it's like you can see that the Heavenly Father is really, you know, wrapping up, you know, uh, Esau's rulership, man. You know, and he's about to usher in the kingdom. So the Heavenly Father, what he's doing for his men, he's building, he's continuing, which, he, which, he, which he's always done, you know, uh, he's building up our most holy faith, you know, so that way when, when Jacob's trouble does come, you know, we we already you know prepared and, and, and strengthened and girded up you see, right? And there's many ways that the heavenly Father is doing that, but this is the spirit uh, that we should be in, right? So I got James chapter one and verse two. It says I'm gonna read it. Yeah, I'm gonna read it in. Uh, I'm gonna just read it in the KJV. I, I liked it in the um, in the NLT. I might I might still get it, but I'm gonna read it. James one and verse uh, verse two. It says, my brethren. Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trine of your faith work in patience. But let patience have a perfect work, that you may be perfected. It's like it, that you may be perfect and entire once in nothing. So the point of the matter is, right, you know, this is a, a different way of thinking because, you know, uh, we, we weren't taught this back in the world. You know, basically to, to count it joy when you go through some type of trial or tribulation. But ultimately, that's that's to show that the Heavenly Father truly is dealing with you, right? And when I say that is, you know, for a brother that's, you know, in the correct spirit, you know, he's making sure, you know, he's adhering to the doctrine, you know, making sure he's, you know, walking circumspectly and wise and doing the things that, you know, uh, are pleasing unto Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. When certain things like that happen to a brother like that, man, you, you understand that that's, you know, just for the trying of your faith that, you know, you could be, you know, uh, a better, a, a better servant of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. So ultimately, that's for the Heavenly Father doing that to make you even better than you already are, right? So of course you do, you you ought to be joyful in that, you know. Uh, just in the fact that the matter is that, that the Heavenly Father is choosing to make you stronger. You see what I'm saying? Now I know that while going through it, because you know I, I've I've experienced this. You know, it's not always the most like pleasant thing, but you know what I'm saying. And then. You know, brothers, you know, we like to use the example of uh, going to the gym when you're ripping that muscle. But, you know what I'm saying? It hurts. It hurts, you know. And, so, and sometimes, you know, you know, um, the muscle really gets beat up. But after it repairs and, you know, you get that rest and, you know, start eating good and you get, the, you know, you get your strength back. You, you see how, you know, you can start lifting heavier weights. You're even stronger. Your, your physique is looking better. All of that, man. So, you know, you get to enjoy the benefits of uh, 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 of that pain that you went through. So I'm, I'm going to continue on. I don't want to ramble, but I, I, I literally had to expound upon that. So this is why verse four says, but let patience have her perfect work. So you gotta be, we, we have to be patient in it, right? That you may be perfect and entire once in nothing. If any, like, if any of you lack wisdom, right, let him ask of the heavenly father that give it to all men liberally and a breed of not, and it shall be given him. So. The beginning of wisdom is to fear the Heavenly Father. And to fear the Heavenly Father, you have to have faith in Him, right? So ultimately, uh, the Heavenly Father, He's building up our faith, man, you know? And and if you, you know, when you pray, you ask Him for the Heavenly Father, you know, to build you up, to gain you more wisdom, right? More knowledge, more understanding, more faith, right? Ultimately, you have, you know, there, there are different ways that the Heavenly Father can increase you in, in you know, in faith and wisdom. He can bring you through something. He can show you different signs, right? So it's all dependent on what the Heavenly Father sees fit for your particular spirit, right? And what you respond best to at that point in time. So it says, so this is what, you know, we should be in the spirit of, you know, asking the Heavenly Father for more wisdom, more knowledge, more understanding, more faith, right? And the Heavenly Father, he's going to, he's going to honor that. He's going to give it to you, you know? We got to continue to, uh, but we got to continue to, uh, 
So like, hold on one second. We got to continue to stay faithful while while we're going through that tribulation, all right? Because at the end of it, you know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna get uh that increase, right? But it says, but let him ask him. Yeah, so that's the point on that, right? So let me go ahead and um just read it in the NLT because I, I like how it sounds. Right, James 1 and 2, it says, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. If you need wisdom, ask our, gener ask our generous power. He will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for action. So I, I I love how that's how, how that's like put, cause like you gotta look at when you, what you're going through as a, a as another opportunity for you to grow spiritually. You see what I'm saying? It's another opportunity for your faith to grow, and you know for us brothers that that are sincerely in this ministry, that's really what we desire, man. You know those those, those spiritual gifts, those spiritual uh, increases, right? You know those are like that's that's what we really you know treasure, right? You know, because look, the apostles, let me go ahead and get this, in the book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 5, it says, the apostles said unto Ahadawan, show us, uh, I can read it in uh, KJV, uh, uh, Luke 17, verse 5, and the apostles said unto Ahadawan, increase our faith, right? Ahadawan said, if ye have, uh, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard, uh, a grain of a mustard seed, ye might say unto the sycamine tree, be thou plucked up by the root and be thou planted in the sea and it shall obey you. Right. So that's the point. That's the power, you know, that we have, you know, when our when, when we have faith in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Right. And all he's requiring is that we have a mustard seed, just that very, very small bit of, uh, uh, of faith. And the Heavenly Father can work with that. He can continue to build upon that. Right. I believe like the one the one uh, guy. um in the scriptures, his son was like vexed with a devil. Like I think the devil was like that demon was trying to like take out his son, and like Yahweh Shai basically just said, you know, uh, yeah, you have faith. Oh no, 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 no. The the, the 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 father was like, I have faith, but please help. I, I believe Yahweh Shai, but please help my unbelief. You see what I'm saying? So these are the things that you know. If you feel like you have a problem, you know, with that, or you know, you feel like. Um, you know, you, you need to increase on certain things. Ask the Heavenly Father, you're going to give it, man. Because I know what I do. You know, I, I pray to the Heavenly Father consistently. And I, you know, um, you know, like especially lately. And he's been honoring it, man. That's the thing. He's been honoring it. He has been honoring it. I said, you know, Heavenly Father, please, you know, uh, continue to show me things that are, you know, uh, that you with me. You know what I'm saying? And like, not on no, like, like doubtful, faith, faithless stuff, but just as an opportunity for my faith to be increased. You see what I'm saying? Like, like, please continue to show me, you know, different signs and different things. To, you know, to show me that you with me, and it'd be like spiritual stuff that be happening. You know, I may not speak on everything, but it'd be like some spiritual stuff. You know, I was sharing one thing that happened with the uh, brother Nakawam today. You know, it was just something spiritual that happened to me, and it was like. I was just like, wow, you know what I'm saying? That's the like, and then the heavenly Father would do it to you to the to the point where, because you know something happens sometimes. Satan will try to come in your mind and be like, nah, 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 you know this and that. And then the heavenly Father will have it where he do it and he make it so obvious that it was him. So you got no other choice but to just just to recognize, oh snap, that was the heavenly Father, you know. And it was, and, and it's just like an increase. You just get increased. You just being shocking and, 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 and like in awe. You see what I'm saying? All right. So uh, I, I grab I referenced this scripture uh, earlier. Let me go ahead and grab it. The book of uh, Jude. And I'm gonna start at verse 20. It says, "But ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit." Right? It says, uh, "Keep yourselves in the love of the Heavenly Father, looking for mercy of our Adawan, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, unto eternal life." So yeah, man, we want to be continuing to build ourselves. You know, build up on our most holy faith. Right? To continue to believe in Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Right. And, and and draw close into him, draw nigh into him. Right. Because that's exactly how, you know, we're going to continue to have that faith, you know, in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai be built up. Let me go ahead and grab that. James chapter four and verse uh, verse eight. And matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse seven. It says, submit yourselves, therefore, unto the, the heavenly father. So we have to first submit ourselves to the heavenly father, do the things that we know that are pleasing unto him. Right. 
you know, do do his will and 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 put our will to the side. You know, put put our uh, you know, you know, different wants and desires. Now, I'm not saying that you can't partake in anything that you you know uh, lust lust after. You know what I'm saying? Righteous lust. You know, because all lust just means is a desire. But basically, you just put your stuff on the back burner and you put his priori priorities first. And and essentially, that's what a uh, that's what a wife does for her husband. You know. Puts it puts him first, and then you know uh, puts puts his priority stuff first. What he asks, right, and then puts her stuff second. That's what a good wife do, right? And are we not the bride, All right, the heavenly Father? Uh, so uh, I'm gonna continue on. It says, uh, "Resist the devil, and he will flee from you." Yeah, we have to resist Satan, man. We have to resist those demons that try to come in our minds that to break that faith, to break that uh, that most holy faith that we've been. You know, pushing you know ever so fervently to build uh, to have it be uh, be built up, right? And and he's gonna and it says and he will flee from you. So yeah, he's gonna go away. You know, for a period of time, and then you know try to circle back. But you know that's the, that's the fight a good fight like uh fight it the fight of faith like it says in First Timothy chapter six verse twelve. Uh, I'm gonna continue on verse eight. It says, "Draw nigh to the heavenly Father, and He will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. So draw nigh into the heavenly Father. Nigh meaning near. So we gotta draw near and close to the heavenly Father. Like it says in Sirach chapter two, it says, um, uh, shoot. In fact, I'm gonna just grab it for a butcher. Sirach chapter two and verse uh, verse uh, I want three, but I'm gonna start at verse two. It says, "Set thy heart right and constantly endure." Matter of fact, I'm starting verse one. My son, if thou will come to serve how to wine, prepare thy soul for temptation. So yeah, because you know, uh that you know, uh when you come into this truth, Satan is gonna try to uh bring certain things upon you. Ultimately, if you're if you're of the elect, it's to make you stronger, to make you, not break you, right? Verse two, it says, Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste the time of trouble. Right? So yeah, you gotta set your heart of my yeah, uh your, your heart aright, you know, make make sure your eye is single. Right. Make sure you're, you know, you're, you're, you're dead set. Uh, focus on serving Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And, and then no matter what you what you what was brought upon you, just 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 try to, you know, do your best to take it. Take it cheerfully, man. Right. Endure through it. It says make not haste in time of trouble. So, yeah, don't be hasty. Don't do anything that's going to land you into some type of trouble or lead you to, you know, fall out or, or whatever, man. Right. Just don't be hasty. Be be wise. Right. Be circumspect. You know, be patient. Right. Verse three, you know, uh, it says, cleave unto him and depart not away. Who is that him? Unto the heavenly father, where Yahweh Shai. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient with thou art changed to a lower state. So that's the point, man. You know, don't depart from the heavenly father. If anything, you want to draw closer to him. Right. And how do you draw closer to him? You do more for him. You know, you do as best as you can. You you read, you do the things that, you know, he requires of us. You know, go out in the highways and byways, make video epistles. Right. Because although this is edifying, exhorting and comforting, I don't want to write this out for, you know, you sincere are the true believers. You know, uh, this is also, you know, helpful for us as well. You know, it, it gives us a peace of mind when we, you know, go through these scriptures. You know, when we read and uh, read the scriptures or breaking them down, you know. Because uh, we're, that means we're, we're 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 meditating upon you know ho these holy scriptures, man, and you know and his life in these scriptures, man. You see what I'm saying? It's peace, right? So 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 it's also it's like a two way street. It's beneficial for you know the the listener and the uh, um and and uh, um, the teacher, right? So it says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, uh, take cheerfully. Matthew verse three it says, cleave unto him and depart not away. That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. So yeah. So as long as you draw nigh into the heavenly Father, you know at the end of that trial and tribulation, which is just for a season, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be increased, right? It's another opportunity for you to be increased, like I, like I read in uh, James, uh, the, the first and second chapter in the NLT. It says, "Draw nigh to the heavenly Father, and He will draw nigh to you, man." And yeah, so that you, the heavenly Father, He'll see. Okay. He's being faithful. He's drawing closer to me, even when, you know, I bring him through something, have him be brought through something. All right, yeah, I'm gonna I'm draw closer to him, and that's and that's one, that's one, that's one. Uh, the heavenly, you know, that the heavenly Father, you want him close as possible to you. You see what I'm saying? All right. It says, cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double minded. All right. So yeah, that's the point, man. And then also, you know, I wanted to grab, I wanted to grab, um, 
you know, just the fact that just to show you it's nothing wrong with asking the Heavenly Father for, you know, him to show you like different signs and different things like that, just to, uh, you know, increase your faith. You know, not saying that you're doubting, it's just like you're asking for, you know, an increase. You see what I'm saying? You know, um, but you're not, and it's not like, I know where your Habasha, he said, uh, uh, a wicked generation seeketh after a son. But basically, that, I believe that was, the, uh, if I'm like, you know, uh, breaking it down correctly, that was like, you know, um, the Sadducees and, you know, the wicked Sadducees and Pharisees, because not all the Sadducees and Pharisees were wicked, but those were like people that were just trying to like catch your Habasha up and, 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 and you know, and, and doing something. You see what I'm saying? It wasn't for a pure intent to like actually have faith and believe. It was to try to like catch him up. But this is an example of a righteous man who asked the heavenly Father for uh, for a son, man. Right. So that way his faith can be increased and he can be assured that the heavenly Father truly is with him, man. You know. Um, we are saying Judges chapter six, yeah, verse thirty-six. All right, this is the uh, this is the man Gideon, right? One of our forefathers, Judges chapter 6 and verse 36. And Gideon said unto uh, the heavenly father, If thou wilt save Israel by my hand, as thou hast said, behold, I will put a fleece of wool in the floor. Let me see if I can read it. In NLT, see if it sounds. All right, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to just read it in NLT. All right, it says, John chapter 6, verse 36. Then Gideon said unto the heavenly father, if, uh, if you are truly going to use me to rescue Israel, as you promised, prove it to me that in this way. I will put a wool, I will put a wool of fleece on the threshing floor tonight. If the fleece is wet with dew in the morning, but the dry uh, but the ground is dry, then I will know that you are going to help me rescue Israel as you have prom as you promised. And that is just what happened. When Gideon got up early the next morning, he squeezed the fleece and wrung it out uh a whole bowl of water. Then Gideon said unto the Heavenly Father, Please don't be angry with me. But let me make one more request. Uh, let me use the fleece one more uh, for one more test. This time, the fleece may remain dry while the ground is wet with dew. So that night, the Heavenly Father did as Gideon asked. The fleece was dry in the morning, but the ground was covered with dew. Right? So that's the point. So that's the point. You know, and, and after Gideon saw that, he was like, oh, snaps. Like any of us, man. We see the Heavenly Father honor, you know, our prayer. You know what I'm saying? You know, and because Gideon wasn't, I'm sure Gideon wasn't asking or else the Heavenly Father wouldn't have did it. Gideon wasn't asking in a malicious way. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he gonna prove this to me. No, no, please, Papa Kasha. You know, just show me, you know what I'm saying? Please, so that way I could be having a short mind, you know, on some sincere tip, right? I do it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, the Heavenly Father has been honoring that. You know, and, and he's been showing me that he's with me and it's been boosting my confidence, man, in him and him, you know, because I want to I, I want to have more confidence. I want to have more faith in the heavenly father. Why I was shy and he's been blessing me to, you know, uh, uh, to, to, you know, for, for to, to receive that increase in faith and in confidence and the uh, heavenly father and his son, Yahweh shy, which is my king. All right. So, you know, I, I you know, I feel like. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end off there. You know, I pray that you sincere hearted, true believers were edified, exhorted, and comforted. And with that, I want to give all glory, honor, and praise unto Yahweh. Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Ba Hashem Havrakakwa Dash. Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Baraka Thumb to all you sincere hearted, true believers, man. Shalom.